Market value ratios are used to evaluate the share price of a company's stock. First market uh, value ratio is earnings per share, or EPS. It measures the amount of net income earned for each share outstanding. It's calculated as net earnings divided by total shares outstanding. EPS is one of many indicators you could use to pick stocks. If you have an interest in stock trading or investing, your next step is to choose a broker that works for your investment style. Comparing EPS in absolute terms may not have much meaning to investors because ordinary shareholders do not have direct access to the earnings. Instead, investors will compare EPS with the share price of the company. Let's calculate our earnings per share here. It's going to be net earnings divided by total shares outstanding. And for our example, it's 4.52. Price earnings ratio or PE ratio compares a company's share price to its earnings per share. It's calculated as share price divided by earnings per share. The price to earnings ratio or PE is one of the most widely used stock analysis tools by which investors and analysts determine stock valuation. In addition to showing whether a company's stock price is overvalued or undervalued, the PE can reveal how a stock's valuation compares to its industry group or a benchmark like the S&P 500 index. In essence, the price to earnings ratio indicates the dollar amount an investor can expect to invest in a company in order to receive $1 of that company's earnings. This is why the PE is sometimes referred to as uh, the price multiple because it shows how much investors are willing to pay per dollar of earnings. If a company was currently trading at a PE multiple of 20x, the interpretation is that an investor is willing to pay $20 for $1 of current earnings. The PE ratio helps investors determine the market value of a stock as compared to the company's earnings. In short, the PE ratio shows what the market is willing to pay today for a stock based on its past or future earnings. A high PE could mean that a stock's price is high relative to earnings and possibly overvalued. Conversely, a low PE might indicate that the current stock price is low relative to earnings. So let's cal calculate our PE ratio here. It's going to be a share price divided by earnings per share. And in our case scenario, it's 30.9. Market value ratios are very critical and useful for all sorts of stock investing. And be it secondary market investments, be it an investment in a company as a minor or major stakeholder, or be it for merger and acquisition decision, etc. The different market value ratios provide different insights into the company, and investors can decide about their investment and strategies using these ratios.